we work together as Pussy Crew. Pussy Crew is very multidisciplinary, live visuals to uh, to 3D printing, sculpture design and 3D animation. We are working now on a project where we use 3D scanning and motion capture and it was a collaboration with with Kromat and the dancer Mela Murder. So we decided to scan her. We also captured some motion capture data. We built kind of like a digital world around her scans. The secret was always about the body and then the body actually transforms. Yeah. How you can change the shape of the body or mutate it or, or it, yeah. this fluid gender, fluid identity. Like many people are afraid of uh, what technology will bring and we don't really have this fear of technology. So these worlds are the worlds where we could, where we would like to live. We don't really consider dystopia as a negative kind of landscape because we kind of accept the future with anything that it brings. When we think about this transhumanist issues and possible futures, it's it's more about the network of things instead of you know thinking about yourself. There is this issue that um, if if you're very wealthy, you can actually access all these technological things that ordinary people don't have access to. Most of the technological tools are made for, for white people and this is like a big problem that we have. If the skin tone is a bit darker, the light is reflecting in a different way and when, when we are working with different kinds of bodies and different kinds of characters, we feel like there are actually limitations and it's just because all the tools that were produced, they were produced really for like one kind of crowd. Your body is very limited and it's dying and it's just dying every day and it would be so amazing if we could just upload ourselves in a different body <laughs> every day or if, if we would just live online as just like mind or energy. The, the reason why we started creating stuff was democratization or inclusivity that uh, digital tools actually could give us.